rescue. We are also waiting to find out the cause of a mid-Missouri house fire that left two people dead. We've confirmed the victims' names, and we do know the house didn't have any working smoke detectors. And tonight, ABC 17's Lindsay Burning joins us live in Mexico. And Lindsay, you talked to officials during our 5 o'clock newscast, but today you've also spoken to several neighbors as well. Marissa, I have. I talked to one neighbor who's two houses down who tells me he woke up around 4 o'clock this morning to the smell of heavy smoke, and he thought it was coming from his own home. When he looked outside and saw that the fire was at this home, he ran down the street, called 911, and knocked on the front door, but he says there was no answer. Mexico Public Safety officials tells me they responded about 4.30 this morning, and they had about 20 firefighters on scene putting out the fire and cleaning it up for several hours. The last truck just left within the last two hours because they were monitoring the debris to make sure that didn't catch back on fire. 20-year-old um, Alex Wagi and 27-year-old Jessica Cravens were found inside the home and pronounced dead at the scene. I was able to confirm with the Missouri Veterans Home here in Mexico that the two were employed there as certified nursing assistants. And I also talked to several neighbors who tell me the two had just moved in the home a few months ago. Michelle Rodriguez, another neighbor, tells me she also woke up early this morning to the smell of smoke. The flames were shooting out at first from the two ends um, through the windows at the top. And then we could see the roof start to, to slope inside the middle and then the roof collapsed inside. And, you know, when the roof collapsed, everything started to flame across the whole middle of the, the house. So you could see the flame on the whole top. Chief Susan Rocket with the Mexico Public Safety Department tells me the home is a complete loss and the Missouri State Fire Marshals are still investigating what may have caused the fire. I also talked to a couple family members of Wagi earlier today who stopped by the home and they didn't want to go on camera understandably as it's uh, so soon, but they do tell me they plan to set up a memorial within the next few days. Reporting live in Mexico, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Lindsay, and we'll let you know when the services are scheduled for the victims.